Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back again with another educational video. So in this video, we are actually doing the scope of human resource management in Ireland. This is my friend Ashish. So uh, he's the one who is going to tell us about the scope in Ireland. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, Ashish, could you please tell us about your background? Yeah, so my education background is in biotechnology, and uh, but I started working in recruitment back in India. I worked in recruitment for almost four years, and uh, thereafter I switched to financial service industry, where I was working as an HR manager. So I was working till uh, the April of 2021, and in August of 2021 I came to Ireland. Okay, so that was actually my second question. So, uh, which course are you doing? Uh, where and why you pick Ireland? So, I am pursuing my masters in business studies with specialization in HRM from uh, Waterford Institute of Technology here in Waterford, Ireland. Uh, the reason that I picked Ireland is because Ireland, in Ireland, uh, English is most widely used uh, as a language, and uh, it's widely used as a language uh, and. Uh, in all other European countries, they have other official languages, yeah. so it's a bit difficult to pursue uh, your education in other European countries. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, the general uh, uh, perception about Ireland is that they have a good education system. So, these couple of things motivated me to pursue my master's in Ireland. Yeah. So, the next question. So, before you consider this uh, course, what were the other alternative courses and which all were the institutions? So, uh, I had an option to pursue uh, a Masters in HRM in uh, Griffith, uh, not sorry, not in Griffith, but in uh, Dublin Business School. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a course related to HRM in uh, Trinity College as well. Uh, NCI uh, Ireland has a good uh, course uh, which anyone who wants to pursue uh, a career in uh, HR can undertake. Uh, so these are the these were some of the colleges that I you know, got to know before I chose uh, WIT okay. to pursue my masters. Uh -huh. and, uh, the reason that I chose WIT for pursuing my masters was because you know uh, the cost of living in Waterford as compared to other cities. You know, and say uh, Ireland is in Dublin, uh, what Trinity is in Dublin, the tuition fees of Trinity is quite high. Another most important thing was that uh, the course uh, WIT is affiliated with CIPD. CIPD is Chartered Institute of Personal Development, which is an which is a body uh, for uh, HR professionals located in the UK. So the course was uh, accredited to the CIPD and that was a, a big plus point. Uh -huh. So uh, I think, uh, I thought that uh, uh, there, was, there was no harm in going for, for, going for uh, masters from uh, the QIT. Thank you for that. So the next question, that's actually the most requested question. So that's, does human resource management, it uh, fall under the critical skill or uh, does it fall under the general work permit? So uh, the jobs in HR in Ireland do not fall under critical skills. Uh, you have to, once you complete your education, you would have the opportunity to convert your visa on 1G. On 1G you can work for two years and after two years you can apply for Stanford. Uh, after getting stamped for, you have to work for another two to three years. So uh, once you complete that period, then you will be eligible to apply for PR. Uh, so the total time period, once you get a job in HR, it will be for like around five years before you can apply for citizenship. Okay. Thanks. Um, so the next question, uh, is there any criteria or certification that need to be done in order to work in the human resource in Ireland. I think you already have mentioned on that CIPD. So yeah. could you please elaborate on that? Yeah. So there is no uh, there is no um, certification as such that is mandatory. Uh -huh. It's just that in most uh, jobs in HR, uh, companies require that you have completed your masters okay. uh, with at least uh, first class uh, uh, and. Uh, 
it is beneficial it is usually beneficial if your course uh, that you have done is accredited with cipd because cipd uh, you know the courses that are accredited with cipd have a certain structure uh, which is uh, most uh, recognized by uh, most uh, most recognized by the companies here here in india so that is a huge advantage if your masters is uh, accredited with cipd also uh, once you complete the course you have the opportunity to become a member of cipd and once you become the member you uh, no you automatically get involved in a network of hr professionals here in uh, ireland and in europe okay. uh, wherein you can you uh, know there's a healthy exchange of uh, of uh, information related to hr which you can ac- get access to so that is uh, hugely beneficial so uh, yeah so there is no asset there is no uh, certain mandatory criteria to get a job in hr it's just that you know it will be hugely beneficial if you if you have course uh, that the masters or graduation that you have done or uh, doing is uh, accredited to the cipd perfect okay um, so our next question so that uh, is it easy to get the job here in ireland and how is the job market for human resource management so uh, see once you i believe like once you come from india to search a job here it will not be very easy because you know coming from outside from ireland obviously you have to do a lot of research and you know uh, evaluate what the job market is what type of job market is uh there are a lot of jobs in hr here in ireland so you know uh, this and uh, the key thing that i feel here in ireland is that uh, uh, the hr department is considered very very important in the organizational structure so uh, the aspect the prospect of you know uh career development in hr in ireland yeah. is tremendous uh but having said that uh it you would any person who is doing his masters in hr in ireland would need to study the job market first you know prepare their cvs prepare their competencies you know according to the job market and to the role that they are applying for it will be uh uh i would say it would not be easy but i would also suggest that it won't be like it would not be like it's impossible it would require some effort from a person to search for jobs and apply for the roles to clear the interviews but yeah definitely possible and there are a lot of jobs available in hr in ireland okay so uh, a continuation to that question um so should i be an experienced uh, or is it easy to get the job for freshers as well um, you know internship opportunities or should i be an experienced one to to get the job okay so in ireland we there is a concept of uh, getting enrolled into graduate programs so if you are a fresher you can enroll into graduate programs there are a lot of graduate programs that are uh, endorsed by uh, organizations here in ireland so even if you don't have experience you have just completed your masters you can apply for those graduate programs and graduate programs they train you for around one one and a half years in every aspect of hr and you know that is a that is a good learning experience and thereby once you complete those uh, that graduate uh, program you are fully absorbed in the day to day functioning of the organization if you have experience you can uh, and you feel like uh, you can uh, um, go for senior roles then you can do that also because there is a lot of senior roles that keep on coming up especially in the field of hr so it doesn't really matter if you are a graduate or experienced the opportunities for both the uh, type of candidates is almost equal yeah okay uh, so the final question so it's basically your suggestion to the upcoming uh, students in ireland so the my suggestion would be like uh, you know if you are coming from a of some part of india that is very hot then please be prepared to face the cold here in ireland 
the weather is quite uh, nice, uh, but uh, sometimes it can be quite uh, wet and quite cold here. Yeah, I'm, I'm already shivering. <laughs> yeah, so be prepared to face the weather. Uh, get involved into uh, get involved in uh, college uh, activities. Get involved in co-curricular activities if you are pursuing your studies here. Make friends. Uh, develop uh, develop an understanding how to network uh, with your batchmates and uh, you know uh, it would take some time if you are particularly looking uh, for coming here and to to, uh, to do a job it would uh, perhaps take some time to find the right job for yourself but you know be persistent uh, don't lose hope and eventually things will work out for you that would be my suggestion for anybody who's coming here to highlight to pursue their studies thank you for your suggestion i think it will uh, definitely help the upcoming students i hope so thanks a lot ashish for uh, sharing you. your uh, insights on human resource management so i hope everyone will like this video so if you like this video please do subscribe and share this video with your friends so uh, let's see you guys on the next video till then goodbye bye best of luck